we're off to Sports Direct to get some socks. Unlike you guys, we haven't got an Asda and a Tesco's and what have you. We've got Sports Direct and that's about it really. So anyway, we're off to Sports Direct and uh, I'm just going to video a bit of the road for Paul. Paul would like to see what the infrastructure is like over here. So it's normal really, we've got normal roads as you have. Some of them are a bit rubbish, but they are normal. And we're just going to go on to the highway. The highway is you, your version of the M25. It runs from one side of the island to the other. But it's only got two lanes on either side. That's the biggest road we've got. And we have no traffic whatsoever. Right, so we just left the village and we are turning left onto the highway. We drive the same side as England does. There we are, and our cars are right hand drive, the same as yours. Our signs are the same. We have it in English and in Greek. So basically, it's quite simple. Here we are, this is the highway. You see, two lanes. Two lanes this way, two lanes that way. Starts at A and Napa and goes all the way down to Paphos. Really easy. And then you've got your junctions off that will go off to the villages and towns. Of course, there's the highway that goes to Nicosia. notice a lovely sky eh? look at that that is rain yes guys we've had our first lot of rain for over six months and it feels glorious it's lovely look at that rain up there so the roads are wet wow wet roads how lovely okay and all our speed limits are in kilometers not miles, don't forget. We've got the odd sign here that says speed camera. We haven't got any speed cameras over here, but you do get police and the side of the road with their speed guns. So I'll keep an eye on that. Okay, so we're going down towards Paralimni where they fix the roads. Right, the last roundabout come to is McDonald's roundabout for Paralimni. If anyone's been over here before, you'll recognise it. So there we are. There we're coming up to McDonald's. Next to McDonald's is the new local council building. These are new, these is all been new. This is all new now. This has been done in the last couple of years. I suppose you can call this a high street, but it's quite spread out. But if you did want to come shopping down here, you'd probably have to go in one shop and then move your car along. dealerships, coffee shops, bakeries, light shop. Oh, a new roundabout. It's a new roundabout, guys. Yep. Coming up to the vets. The vets are on our left, and we've got Pet Parade. Uh, what else we've got? A betting office for our big pharmacy and a big supermarket hypermarket it says but uh, don't get too excited it's uh, not that big it's the biggest one we've got mm -hmm. now we're coming up to four banks corner but there's only three banks on there there you go three banks one on each corner 
and you might see coming up the only traffic that we get over here I think there's five cars waiting to go across the lights yep five cars all right so that's spay guys that's all you're going to come across unless you travel into Nicosia that can be a bit jammed up Right, so we're coming up to the hub now, petrol station and an old house. What we've got on our right, another coffee shop. There's hundreds of these coffee shops. Uh, we have got fridge, freezers, air conditionings, bakery, kids' clothes shop, uh, and we've got a driving school. This is a nice place, you can get anything printed. So printers, they do great big posters and all sorts of stuff. Blinds and curtains, used cars, a sort of health shop, organic products. And the lady wanted to cross. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Okay. Oh, we've got a Julak shop. Oh. Kebab shop. Sells Donna kebabs, that one. Oh, Gokinos. That's a very old type of supermarket another electrical shop and another coffee shop let's have a look around see what else there is insurance sport shop Another electrical shop and another coffee shop. Car accessories, MLT, gym. There's quite a lot of gyms, hundreds of them. They all opened up last year. Thought it was a great idea. Um, you perfect. I think that's uh, sort of, sort of like. Um, cosmetic -y stuff toy shop shoe shop Marielle's Phil Dulu's electrical shop uh, and a garden centre and another garden centre another coffee shop and the list goes on guys we are coming up to Lidl's as well what else have we got We've got a second hand shop and Holland and Barrett. Hmm. There you go. A United Parcel Service shop. And there's Marks and Spencer's, but it's not a big one, it's a small one. Next door is Lidl's, and on our right is Sports Direct. Terra Nova, that's a good shop. It's got nice clothes in there, reasonably priced. Right, so we look left, we look right, close our eyes and hope for the best. There you are, see? Right, we're going to turn right at this roundabout. Sometimes they fix this roundabout up a bit and put plants, but they haven't this year. Never mind. Okay, so we're doing a right, and we're going down to Caparas, where two of our subscribers have asked to have a glimpse at Caparas. So, okay, we'll drive past there. Have a look around. We've got 
the new police station. Look, that's quite big, isn't it? And immigration. That's all in one in there. So right into Caparis. Wait until someone comes along, then we could hit him. Falaros restaurant, lunch and dinner. We've got uh, a pub on the corner, and another restaurant. Another pub, quite a few pubs down here. It's a village taverna there. The pig and the whistle, that's another pub. Italian restaurant. And the Kennedy pub. And a discount shop. Bar and grill pub. some nice houses up to the big roundabout there's a nice bakery on the left very busy Going straight, I do believe. So left is Aya Triada. Penir, there we are, three kilometers. Now we've got a mixture of farms and new builds. Wedding venue there, quite big. Probably holds about a thousand people, I would have thought, maybe more. It's a little mini resort, quite nice actually. We have walked down the coast of it. Hotel. Does all sorts of events, afternoon tea, Sunday dinner, Sunday calvary. Right, and now we're getting into the heart of Panera. Seems quite quiet now. Oh, little pussycat running across the road. Mind yourself. Bootlegger, wine, beer, spirits, tobacco, and you can exchange your currency. Now, what's the exchange rate at the moment? It's one pound nine p. There you are. One, sorry, one euro nine for your pound. Or if you just send it to me, I, I could send you nothing. That'd be a better exchange rate for me. Knights Pub. Nice pub. So I think that's open all year round. Looks like the Mexicans open. Yeah, Mexican. And the doctors and pharmacy. We're heading back now. 
So back through Panera guys, Crown Resort. What else we got? Well we'll have a look on our left, shall we? Let's have a look. A little bit closed down now because it's the end of the season. But of course as I said before there's Knight's Pub, the tattooist there. Pub. There we are. Fish Tavern. Lovely. Oh, another bar. That looks nice. Oh, Ruby Reds. Hairdresser. That's a great place to have your hair done. Yeah. Hi, guys. We're at Knight's Pub and we thought we'd come here to have something to eat as we've driven down here and we've seen it. So we'll have a look and see the food in a bit. Right, so we've ordered pulled pork nachos. It's a dish that we're going to share. So share for two. And we've ordered two lots, so it's a share for four. But we'll show you when it turns up. There's a lovely big plate of nachos. There's Richards and Sue's and all their dips. So and we'll, oh, and this dip. And that dip, that's a beer. Okay, so we'll uh, dip in and yummy yum eat. So Richie couldn't help himself, could you Richie? I could not. I no, he couldn't. And he's bought himself a cheesecake I do believe. It's a Bailey's cheesecake. Oh it's a Bailey's yeah. cheesecake. Well it had to have some alcohol in it didn't it? <laughs> so right. So tuck in Richie and Sue. Off you go. Thank you. Mm, Muller it. It was a delish meal wasn't it Richard? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Like your natural, There's you Richard it. he's got his uh, mask on and where's your horse? Oh, well well, you lost your horse. Some, well, it smells. It's somewhere up there towards Palin. Right. That was a delish meal, guys. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's somewhere you'd like me to go, put it in the comments below.